Hi, this is AJ, Director of Support of ESP Vision. The purpose of today's video is to discuss the new Vision demo uh, and some of the limitations and capabilities of that demo uh, that is currently available to run on the Windows and Mac environments. We're not going to go into a lot of detail on features and functionality since there are other videos that cover some of those issues and items. Uh, if you haven't had an opportunity to download the demo yet, uh, you can go to the ESP Vision website. On the left hand side under downloads is an option for Vision Demo. Once you click there, it talks a little bit about the demo as well as giving you the option uh, to select your operating system. I'm going to select Windows and it tells which operating systems and versions that it currently uh, supports as well as any other limitations that you may uh, need to know. You can then click on the uh, PC demo or the Mac demo um, download button where we will collect some information with regard to your name and email address uh, so that we can contact you later regarding uh, any questions that you might have. Uh, once that has down that download is completed, you can go ahead and launch it. It will advise you that you are currently running a demo. Uh, once you click OK, it will then launch Vision. Uh, you'll see the splash screen, and uh, the Vision demo will then commence loading. Once Vision has finished loading, uh, it will then open a whitelisted demo file, which it's done in this case. Uh, and you can see that three of the panes, the top, front, and right, are in wireframe mode and the user is in solid mode. But you can change any of those uh, simply by right-clicking uh, on the word and clicking on solid. And we'll do this for all four of our uh, views. Now this is a whitelisted file, which, will mean, which means that you can uh, play with this, make modifications uh, and control it uh, without any limitations. If you do make uh, significant modifications, such as adding or deleting fixtures, uh, you will drop your DMX control uh, from the existing four universes it currently is at uh, to 100 channels of DMX in universe one or five fixtures, whichever is lower. Uh, what the little icon here in the bottom right hand corner signifies is that you are in demo mode uh, and uh, that is not there uh, when you have a licensed version. If you want to then move from the quad view as you're looking at here into a full screen view you can just hit the W key and it will then give you uh, the user view which you can then you know move around and, and change any of the uh, vantage points that you want. Uh, for those of you that are familiar with Vision 2.3, uh, the layout is very similar. You've got a primary visualization window. You've got a toolbar across the top. You have a scene graph, which is basically every object within your model, textures, fixtures, etc., and then a properties window, which dynamically changes based upon what you have selected in the scene graph. If I select uh, root here in the scene graph, you'll notice I have global properties, which allows me to modify ambient light and exposure and volumetric amount and things like that. Uh, but if I go here to the uh, VL3K washes and select fixture 401, you'll notice that it comes on, as well as gives me information uh, regarding that fixture number, where it's currently patched, its location. Uh, anything like color wheels and the, the color slots and gobos and things like that will be uh, in the property window for that fixture as well. As I mentioned, this is a whitelisted file, uh, so you can go ahead and hook up your console or offline editor uh, and control it. Uh, you have a couple of ways of identifying the uh, underlying patch. In the patch, or uh, in the Vision Demo folder, there is a demo documents file which uh, has an Excel spreadsheet uh, which lists all of the different uh, fixtures that are in the model uh, and their underlying patch. You can also hit the P key here, and what that does is that brings up the patch window. Uh, you can then sort this out uh, and find out where each fixture is patched within uh, this demo. Um, and then you can control it with your offline editor. A couple of things to note. The Mac demo currently supports ArtNet and SACN and any console or offline editor which does in fact output that, those protocols. On the PC, you also have ArtNet and SACN available, and additionally you have availability of HogNet through that connectivity driver. Unfortunately, due to some limitations placed on us by MA Lighting, uh, the Grand MA on PC uh, or MA Net connectivity driver does not work with the demo. 
even though it does work with the licensed version of the software. And like I said, those are just some uh, restrictions that MA Lighting has placed on uh, the Vision Demo, uh, and we're more than happy to uh, accommodate uh, their requests. However, for those of you who don't necessarily want to take the time to hook up uh, an offline editor or a console, we have provided a DMX, recorded DMX file that you can play back uh, and kind of see uh, what's going on with Vision. You can access this by going under the Window menu item, come down here to DMX Recorder. We're going to load a DMX file that takes you into the Program Files, Vision 4, uh, and Demo Documents. Uh, for the DMX loop.dmx file. On the Mac, that's going to be found under Applications Vision Demo Documents, uh, and we can just open that file and then start playing uh, that DMX file back. You'll now notice that what it's doing is it's just running through uh, a half dozen cues that uh, have been built and recorded uh, so that you can then see how uh, Vision is going to uh, respond to you know the controls that we've got here. Uh, you can modify any of the components here such as the exposure, uh, you can change the ambient light if you think that the room is too dark, you can brighten it up or you can you know take it down. Um, you can also adjust the um, volumetric amount if you think that there's too much haze in the room you know you can take down the the amount of the haze and you can just play with things here um, to figure out uh, how vision will, will look uh, with this demo model. Um, if, you, like I said, you make any changes to this by adding a fixture, deleting a fixture, uh, what's going to happen then is vision will drop uh, your control down to 100 channels of DMX uh, or five fixtures, whichever is lower. But what I do uh, suggest that you do is uh, download the demo, take a look at the different options that you've got underneath the different menus, uh, see uh, what types of things that we can do, uh, play around with it a little bit, you know, hook up your own console or offline editor to it, uh, and uh, just have some fun. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to contact us at support at ESPVision.com, uh, and we'll be more than happy to answer any questions that you might have. This is AJ. I hope you found this video educational and entertaining. Thank you for watching.